Hi, it's Anna at the Useless Crafter. Look what we have here. We have an LOL doll. Um, so I have been looking for LOL dolls, um, SVGs for the longest time on Etsy, and I just can never find them, like the actual individual dolls. So I was introduced to this site through one of my other followers, and it is Tab Chic Boutique. I will make sure to include this link in the video um, content in the about, but she has a category and look at how many dolls are on here. I was so excited. I couldn't believe it. So, um, like 52 pages and she also does custom SVGs. So you can just contact her through the website. Um, and I don't know how much it costs because I haven't needed to do a custom one, but I'm just excited to have found SV, um, SVGs for these LOL dolls. All right, so back to this little girl over here. She's so stinking cute. I love that hair. Um, I tried working with this just a little bit and the face is a little wide at 30 inches. So I'm gonna go to 28 inches and I'm, let's just check out if we can do 28 inches. I never like to slice the face. It's not worth it to me to slice the face to get that extra two inches. So yes, you, if you follow me, you know I like my, um, I like to do it at 30 inches. I feel like it's a, just the perfect size for parties and everything. But let's look at this face. This face, okay. So at 28 inches, this will, we can be able to, We'll be able to cut this on the Cricut at 11.4 by 9.5. So I am good with that, but let's see if we can go to 29 inches. Okay, so this is 29 inches. Okay, so her face right now at 29 inches is 11.8, but that's okay because look what, oops, hold on. Look what we can do with the face. So here's the face, right? So it's 11.8 by 9.8. I am going to just tilt this face a little bit. Well, I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. Can I make this work? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, so actually, we're going to need to do this. Let me end you. So that was a good, I thought I could shift her face around to make it work, but I couldn't. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me just grab this whole thing. <laughs> it's not working for me today. Okay. This is the fourth time that I'm recording this video. Okay. Let me upload this. Hold on. Let me insert it. Okay. So let's make her 29 inches ungroup it let's talk about this again at 29 inches her face is too wide so let's go let's select all and do it at 28 inches so it's not worth it like i was saying it's between 28 inches and 30 inches yes it's two inches right it's no one's going to notice the difference it is not worth it to do 30 inches and have a big old slice down her face okay so let's keep this at 28 inches this will be perfect um let's start moving things out so this is her hair her hair is 12.1 by 8.4 so we do need to slice this but i want to show you so let's go to text and type in i love glitter if you do not have this font it is free on dafont.com that's D-A-F-O-N-T.com. What, what I love about this font, I don't love the font itself because I think it's too thin, um, but I like the square bracket. This is the bracket to the right of the letter P on your keyboard. And look how pretty it is. It's a nice little glyph. There it is, it's right there. And I'm gonna zoom back in so we can see this, okay? So here's the little glyph and it has that nice little curve. I like it because what I wanna do is I want to slice this right here and make this hair into two pieces and make it look like it's a deliberate cut. And when I say deliberate cut, what I mean is like this shirt, this is a deliberate cut right here. The sleeve is not attached to the, to the middle of her shirt, but it's on purpose. So it's not going to be a seam because it was meant to have a, a 
definitive black outline, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing to her hair, like these little knots that she has, like this piece isn't connected to this, but it's deliberate, right? The whole piece has an outline of black. We're gonna do the same thing to her hair to split it in half because right now it's 12.1 by 8.4. We cannot cut this with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this, unlock it and stretch it out, oops. There we go, stretch it out. Okay, then let's flip it because I wanna use it like this. So I'm gonna move it up and I want this to fit in. I'm gonna need to cut this in two pieces, okay? So I'm gonna cut it right around here to cut it through the bottom. So now we're gonna grab both the hair and the glyph and slice. Okay, we'll remove that. We'll remove this black, we don't need that. Now this piece though, see how it cut a little bit here and a little bit here? I don't want to remove those pieces. All I wanna remove is this piece right here. So I'm gonna click on it and go to contour. And I'm gonna say, click right here to 100% so we can actually see the image. This is the piece that I don't want, right? So I'm just gonna select it and see only that piece is gone, right? So now I'm gonna grab all these, this piece plus these two that I sliced off and I'm gonna weld it. So now it's back. So you can, you can't, you can barely tell, right? Now I'm gonna continue slicing this to break it into two pieces. So I'm gonna use the same, same piece I'm gonna to go to contour though, cause I don't need this bottom piece. I only need this top piece to work with it. I'm gonna bring it over and I'm gonna kind of line it up so that it works for us. Or I can line it up like this. Okay, so that looks good to me. I'm gonna grab these two and slice. Now the black I can just, oh, sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go over here. The black I don't need, so I can just delete. This black I don't need as well. Now this green though, I want to go to contour because I only want to get rid of uh, this piece. That piece I still want there, okay? So now I'm gonna grab these two and weld it back together. And look at that, okay? So now I'm gonna bring this back so that you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna zoom back out so that you can see this. I don't think when you're looking at this that this doesn't belong. It looks to me, it looks on purpose, right? But what's nice is because it's there, this hair is going to be seamless. It's gonna be two pieces of cardstock and it's gonna look like it belongs, right? I love it. I would have either done this piece or this piece to slice it. Um, now, we need to break this in half, right? So we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna use contour again. We're gonna contour so that we can have what we can have separated pieces. So let's hide all. That leaves this, um, I want this and this. So the only thing that we're getting rid of is this, X out of it, and there you have it. Here's the piece by itself, right? Here's that piece. And then now let's get rid of that piece. Let's go to contour, and we want to get rid of this, this, and this. And there's our left side piece. So I love contour um, and look at, I think it looks really, really good if I don't say so myself. <laughs> All right, so let's move those two out of the way. Um, now the shirt, if you, if you don't want, to, because I'm looking at this and I'm seeing lots of pieces for the shoes, her hair is in multiple pieces. So if you're thinking about how many pieces you need to keep track of once we cut this file and you want to start welding things together, like the shirt, the shirt we can probably do as one piece instead of three separate pieces. So I'll show you how to do that. I mean, there's it's so funny how in this piece we wanted them separated, right? Because it wouldn't cut. Um, let's go get our purple. 
So I'm just scrolling. Here it is. So here's our left piece, right? Scroll, hit the shift key, grab the right shoulder, and then grab the shirt itself. So we have all that, and let's move it over here. We can just weld this together. So let's bring in um, a circle. Okay, and let's duplicate the circle because we have the two that we want to weld together. And I would just unlock it and kind of make it small. And I'm going to add it like right here. Okay, and this one the same. So make it kind of small. Okay. Now I'm going to grab all of these items and I'm going to weld it together. So from three pieces down to one, okay? But look at the shirt. You wouldn't be able to tell that that's, that the shirt um, wasn't meant to be that way. It could be either way. It could be with a deliberate cut or not, but now it's one piece and we don't have to worry about, you know, keeping track of three pieces. So there's that. Let's see, this is good. Such a cute top. That's one piece. Um, this is one piece as well. So we can just start moving things that are fine, right? I think the only thing that we really need to work with um, is the hair because this is in one, two, three, four, five. Just this part right here is five pieces. I would wanna make it one. So we're gonna to have to weld those together. These one pieces alone are fine. So we'll just move them out. I think her hair is so cute. It's, I'm gonna do like a turquoise glitter. I think it'll look amazing. Um, okay, so let's grab all, oops. Let's grab this and move it down. Okay, now let's bring in some circles and we're gonna start welding some of these. So let's duplicate quite a few of these. And I don't necessarily want to lose the details of like the little slices. So I'm not going to weld it completely together, but just little pieces like right there and maybe duplicate that and add that. Oops. Grab this little piece. Make it smaller. Let me just show you what that looks like, okay? So weld that. So that went from however many pieces to this is all connected, this, and then just these two pieces. So it's up to you how many pieces that you feel comfortable dealing with. So maybe this feels like it's enough, or I personally would want to weld all of these together. So each knot or each you know spike um, is one piece. So I would do. Um, Oops, that's really small. Okay, I would do something like, and just change that color back to this. So instead of however many pieces, it would look like this. I, I don't think anyone would know that it wasn't supposed to be like this. It's just cute, funky hair and a glitter cardstock. So I would do that with this as well as this one, okay? Um, all right, let's see. Now that I've moved everything out of the way. So here's one shoe. Now, I don't know why this shoe, there's like a couple pieces that weren't picked up. So let me grab them. I think it's this. There, I think it's all grabbed. Okay, so I'm gonna move the shoe over. We need to weld some pieces of the shoe. Um, the rest of this is all pieces that we can cut on the Cricut. So I would just move it over and not worry about it. Let's see. We know her face is all good. We just need to deal with the shoe, I think at this point. The shoe and um, the background. 
let's move this that way. Okay, so we have the background that is 28 inches by 16.3 that we know we need to slice up, okay? Let's look at the shoe really quickly though. Let me grab all this. Okay, let's zoom in just so that we can look at the shoes. The shoes, they are in a lot of pieces. Again, I would, oops, here we go. I would bring in this circle and start welding some of these pieces, like maybe right here. And that way it connects this three pieces together. See, I don't think it looks that crazy. No one's gonna know. And keep in mind, we have a 28 inch piece and this is the shoes. No one's gonna notice. And I would weld maybe right here so we took one, two, three, four, four pieces and made it one. I would do all of these little laces. I would do little dots here and there. Maybe turn this shoe into four pieces. That I can live with. <laughs> Five maybe. But there are some small pieces that we definitely don't need. So I would just click on this and go to contour. And let's look at our shoe. I feel like these little pieces, no one would notice that they're not there. Maybe even this one right here, these inside ones. There, I don't think you, you know, I would do the same here. This one's really small, this one's really small. Um, and depending on whether or not you want these holes in there, um, some holes are good, but I think some of these are really small. It might just rip up your paper, so just be aware of that and that's easy to fix you would just go to contour again i love contouring as you can tell um you know it took me a long time to embrace contouring because i didn't know what the heck to do with it <laughs> but now that i know so see so you could just deselect some of these let's just say you don't want those three um move it over maybe we don't want the last two so you're just selecting pieces, right? But that just, you know, it just keeps your, it would suck for this whole thing to cut and you have a rip right here because of a little hole that no one else would have noticed in the first place, okay? So not at 30, 28 inches. So that's what I would do with the shoe. I would continue to weld this together. So I'm gonna go back to this piece though and let's, I'm gonna show you how to do, deal with this gigantic background. So let's um, bring in, oops, I keep clicking that. Let's bring in our square. I'm gonna zoom back out. Okay, so now we're gonna be dealing, so here's, here's our piece, let me move this out of the way. Okay, so here's our girl, here's our square. We're gonna be using, um, I would use just, 12 by 12 black cardstock, regular cardstock, 65 pound cardstock. Let's make that to 11. Technically you can do 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? But we don't, we don't gain anything. I hate dealing with half inches. And in this case, she's 16 inches across. You're gonna need two columns anyway, um, because 11 and 11 is 22, 11 and a half plus 11 and a half is 23. You need two anyway, because you have 16. <laughs> then she is 28 inches. You're gonna need three rows, no matter whether it's 11 inches or 11 and a half. So that's why I use 11 inches. Okay, so let's just put our 11 inches somewhere, right, our square somewhere here. We're gonna go and actually use the position feature. Position feature designates exactly where your X your x coordinate and your y coordinate is. So in this case, let's round to the nearest whole number. So 10.1 becomes 10, 31.9 becomes 32. So what we're saying is go over 10 units, go down 32 units, and here's the start of our square. Now let's duplicate that and let's put this one really close to the first one. So round to the nearest whole number. So that's 21 and it's already at 32. So now we have two squares that are completely flushed, which means there's no gaps and they're not overlapping because what we want is when we cut up this girl, we want her to be um, seamless, as seamless as possible. So all the pieces are butt up against each other. We tape it all up it's like a puzzle, okay? So now that we have these two together, grab both squares and duplicate because they're already flushed. Now we're gonna make it flush to the top pair. So put it close by, 
9.7 becomes 10, 43.3 becomes 43, and now we have four squares totally flush. Hit the duplicate button again, and we'll get the last set down here. This becomes, 9.9 .9 becomes 10, 54 point something becomes 54. We have six squares completely flushed with each other. Use your right-hand side panel, go grab her, go to arrange and send to the front. Now we wanna just make sure that we're slicing big pieces. And this, the way it is right now, we wouldn't want it because, let me zoom in so you can see this. You don't want this because the tip of her shoe would be sliced off and it would be a tiny piece that you need to keep track of. We don't want that at all. So I'm gonna zoom out and I'm sorry, I'm zooming a lot today, <laughs> zooming in and out. Okay, um, I would do something like this. So look, her this square sliced off is going to be, actually I'm gonna do like this, is going to be one big piece right here. This is one big piece. So this is really six big pieces with nothing small just hanging out there. All right, so now we're gonna slice up this girl. Grab one square and just touch the image. If the black image is one and the square is another one. And then we're gonna slice. We're gonna grab these two and slice. If you grab more than two items, your slice option is not available. So I'm gonna go, here's my two, right? I'm gonna bring my cursor into that square um, second square just a little bit just enough for it to not be okay so you see how it's not it's grayed out so go back grab just the two items slice we're going to slice our way all around this little girl okay then what i would do is i would just move it over and keep it in place so that when you go to cut this and take this off the mat, you don't have to try to figure it out. And I know she's in six big pieces and you don't think it's a big deal, but I've taken this off the mat, flipped this one around, and now I'm like, where does this piece go? <laughs> this is a lengthy project. So wherever you can save yourself some time and confusion, just do it. All right, we don't need this, so just grab all these slice results and delete it. And we are pretty much done. Um, you know, you wanna do all her hair and the shoe to your comfort level. But other than that, it's pretty much done. I will show you what the make it screen looks like. Let's see what we have here. Do we have any extra pieces that we don't want? Okay, let's go to make it. And I would, you know, like for the eyes, I would move it over like this so that you don't need, I'm usually using scrap pieces for, the, for all these small ones. So um, I would just move it over so it all cuts in a two and a half by seven piece of scrap paper. Okay, um, here's her shoe. Yeah, see, I would weld it so that you don't have these extra little pieces. Um, okay, here's our black. Um, here's her face and her skin. If you wanted to, um, I feel like this one we can move over. So click the three buttons, move object, and we can move it over to the face. You could use, put the ears in here, right? The empty space, you know, if, if you were trying to really conserve paper. I do this because um, a lot of times I use glitter cardstock. I won't be using glitter cardstock for the, for the skin, but I like to save my scrap paper for glitter. And so I wanna make it so that the next time I go to use this, I would have a lot of space to use it and it's easier to use your scrap that way. Okay, here's our blue. And so I would move up these little items and that way this will fit. So click on this, click on the three dots and move object, move it to this one. So instead of two pages of um, blue glitter cardstock, you can do this in one. 
and you can move, you know, you can flip it upside down like I just did. Just make sure that nothing is overlapping so everything cuts neatly. I mean, we can make this a little bit more efficient because you might want to save this piece for another doll and just the eyes or something like that. So um, there's that one. Let's look at the purple. So for the purple, usually with the eyes, this is what I do. I flip this around and that saves me some cardstock. So instead of um, I don't know what it was before, but this is now like a three and a half by four and a half piece of cardstock instead of six and a half by three and a half. Okay. Um, that's her dress. Here's her cute little mouth. And oh, I would probably make these the same color. So just click this, move object. The skirt is far enough far enough away from her mouth that even if it was meant to have a different color shape of pink, I don't think it matters. All right, that's it. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for following along. And if you have any comments or questions, please do post it. Um, and especially if you have a special request for one of your projects, I would love to help you out. You just need to let me know what it is. All right, bye guys.